exactly. Don't be the typical black folks and be late. Hold on, let me turn my music down. I don't want to go to Facebook jail. yourself together so I did and my girl hooked me up with a little little Wakanda cape you see little, little Wakanda cape yes uh huh uh huh yes that right there Woo! all right y'all we gotta get cooking I'm gonna um how do I now I'm still learning this thing why am I seeing? Hey, Freddie. Hey, Tara. <laughs> okay, y'all. I told you tonight I've got a special guest coming. All right. Yeah, you're, you're going to love this show. All right. Um, so while my special guest is on the way, the special guest should be here in about 22 minutes. I've got some... <laughs> Let me tell you, I treat my guests right, honey. We got some deviled eggs here. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. Well, what, what am I cooking tonight, Tara? I'm cooking uh, chicken portobello with, I am so friggin' loud. I'm cooking chicken portobello with a spinach artichoke topping, um, some green salad, and in my green salad, y'all, let me tell you, I got some artisan lettuce, some romaine lettuce, some English cucumber, it's about two feet long, and I just cut that up. I like the English cucumber because um, it has less seeds, and it's not watery like a regular cucumber. Uh, Lindbergh in the house, you better know it, Miss Nelson Harrison. Um... So it's less watery. So you can put it in your salad and it won't make your salad soggy. That's what I love. Thank you, Nita. Mwah, mwah. Um, I also have some Roma tomatoes in here. I've got some capers. Yes, love them. And some red onions. And what do I have? Um, oh, some carrots. And yeah, we're going to finish that off with a little dressing when the guest gets here okay let me get started on the dinner to show y'all what this chicken portobello looks like okay all right hold on all right all right um so you yeah i know i gotta do that i got i got this uh uh -huh. yeah like that anyway so i got my pan heated right now because what i'm first gonna do is um, prepare this pan for my mushrooms, my portobello mushrooms. Come in a regular old pack, like that. And uh, let's see. Now, if you are not really a fan of portobello, then I hope to change your mind tonight. I hope I can. So I'm gonna show you how to get this guy. Hey Tara, that's my niece poo. Um, so first thing you're gonna do with your portobello, y'all do not submerge your mushrooms in water. I saw somebody do that one time and I was like, ooh, that's gonna be nasty and rubbery. Don't do that to the mushroom. Okay, all right, I'm gonna show you how to clean it properly without making it soggy. Um, so the first thing you do, you see the little, the little bottom right here. It's not a whole lot to it. I'm going to use a smaller knife. But I just want to kind of cut that away. Boom. And see these little, they look like little gills, like little feathery gills inside your mushroom. I suggest 
that you cut that away because if you don't it can leave your mushroom tasting kind of muddy and it'll even look muddy all right so you want to keep your mushroom beautiful so all you're going to do is just take a little teaspoon thank you hey Kev, thank you my girl did this okay mm -hmm, my little wakanda cape got me in the mood got me in the mood for some cooking so all you're going to do is gently scrape away the gills until it's clean, all right? So I'm going to do it, and then I'll show you what it looks like after. But how y'all been doing? Yes? Everything good? Everybody survived the week? Y'all made it to Friday, honey. You made it. Uh, amidst all the crazy and the tomfoolery, you made it. You made it. Thank you, Sandy. You're so sweet. I'm fluffy, but I'm cute, child. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to clean my little gills away from my, from my mushroom, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Boom. That's what it looks like after you, after you clean out the uh, insides of it. Now, if you have... Uh, you have a little debris on the outside of it. This one really doesn't. But all you need to do, y'all, just take a little white Viva paper towel. And all you want to do is just brush the debris off the mushroom. This keeps it from getting soggy and rubbery. All right? Whatever you do, don't submerge your mushroom in water. All right? Just gently wash it away. Okay, now I got a perfectly clean little shroom. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other ones. I might leave one for my guests to do. Ain't no sense in me doing all the work. Oh. Um. Okay, again, feathery, little insides of the mushroom. And I'm just gonna scoop it away. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Um, so, let me share with you my week. Chat. It's been a doozy. It's been a doozy. Uh, lots of meetings as we gear up for back to school and everything. Everybody wants to make sure your practices are tight and everything. And you practice in self-care, yet they want to keep you in a nine-hour meeting all day. Because that's caring for myself. Um, anywho, we did that. And not all of it was, was bad or it wasn't all just a bunch of doldrums. But um, there was one meeting I went to in particular on yesterday, Thursday. It was a DEIA. Training. Anybody ever heard of DEI? Um, diversity, equity, inclusion, and access. Y'all been to that training before? It's good. It was. It was really good. We did. We did good work. Um, I don't think it's gonna change the world tomorrow. No. No. Because frankly, you just got. People who are just straight up asses. I said asses on Facebook. But you do. Um, but but that diversity, equity, inclusion, and access workshop really, really taught me a lot about myself and my colleagues. It was it was wonderful. It really was. But it's deep work. <laughs> hey Corey, did you hear me say ass? I, I said it again. Sorry. I say that to the little preacher man. I love you too. Mwah. Um, But it was good work. It was good work. And one of the things we talked about, among many of the things we talked about, was white supremacy. Oh, that's a fun topic, ain't it? <laughs> I could go so many places with that. And um, 
one of the takeaways I got from the lesson was that white supremacy is oftentimes held up by non-whites. Hey, Fee. Yeah, so it, it, it was deep. It was deep and it took a lot out of me because it makes you think about the state of 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 where we are right now in our in our country so i got three cleaned out ports and um i'm gonna do my what am i saying my himalaya sea salt my sea salt i had some pepper somewhere Where's my pepper? Oh, there we go. And my pepper. That's all. I don't want to overdo it because this portabella, this is going to, this is going to be like a bowl for your chicken and your spinach artichoke topping. Mm, wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. All I'm going to do is just see the, oh, let me let y'all see what I'm doing. I already got my pan warm. I'm going to do it on this side first to get the insides. Did I introduce you to my new pan? I actually got a new pan, y'all. Look at that. It's a big old, it's a paella pan. It's uh, for making paella, but I ain't making no paella, so... I'm just using it to sear. Uh, I'm going to use it to sear off my mushrooms first and then my chicken next. But I love this thing, y'all. I got it from Aldi for $10. $10. A nonstick. This thing got to be about 14 inches or so. But it's, it's lovely. It's lovely. Got your uh, portobello caps. Just going to... I already got oil in the pan. I'm going to just put it on in there. One, two, three. I'm going to do the top with a little more uh, sea salt, some pepper. Oh, I didn't put pepper on the inside, did I? That's all right. We'll make up for it with the, uh, the other mixture that's going inside. Okay. So while I've got that going, I, I'm not trying to cook it to death because it's going in the oven. Thank you, boo. Thank you. Um, like I said, I, I don't want to cook it to death. It's going to go in the oven for a period when I melt my topping. But um, I, oh, so the topping, the spinach artichoke topping. Okay, first let me say this. Let me say this. So, I went to the gym this week. Four days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and yesterday. I didn't go today because I had to, I had an engagement at uh, the high school. I had to be at, at 7.15. So, I didn't go today, but I'm going to go tomorrow. And I feel great. Remember, I was complaining about myself last time. And I was just like, oh my God, I'm so fat. Well... I'm still fat, but I feel better. Hey, D. Yes. Um, I feel better. I feel much better. All I've been doing is a simple little workout, uh, a mile and a half on the treadmill, and five burpees. That's it. Now, Thursday, I did a mile and a half on the treadmill, Five burpees and um, some pull downs and see <laughs> and uh, ab crunches. So I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying. I better turn this before I burn it. Smell it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Let me get my pan out of here. 
So this is going to go in here um, when I get ready to assemble everything. All right? Mm, 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 mm. Lord, Lord, Lord. Turn that down a little bit. So, I said all that to say, that whole workout thing and, and all that, I did not eat meat all this week. Today will be my first time actually eating meat. Hey, Aunt Naomi. <laughs> That's my girl. I'm watching you too, girl. I'm watching. Um, Yeah, so this will be my first day eating meat all week. Which is good. Um, and I I went a little bit overboard. So I made me a little spinach artichoke dip to go on the top of my um, mushroom, my chicken. Um, it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Take that out. It's, it's sweating. I think I might have wilted it a little too much because... I wanted to be able to pick it up and eat it, but I might just have to. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um. Oh. Spinach artichoke dip. That's going to top your chicken. All right. You can make it yourself. You can buy it at the store, whatever. I chose to make mine myself with um, just some frozen spinach at the store. $1.19 a pack. And some artichoke hearts. Just diced up and thrown in there. Alright. Um, oh, here we go. Ha ha! The pièce de résistance. The chicken. This is my chicken I had marinating today, y'all. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. Oh. What did I use to marinate it? I'm going to show you in just a second. Hold on. Hold on. Um, and all I did was a marinade on this chicken. When I take it out and put it on the pan, I'll top it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some herbs. But um, for now, I want to flatten it out in the bag. Let me show you. Flatten it out in the bag on a paper towel. Because we're about to relieve some stress from all these meetings I've been in for three weeks. Trying to get my mind right for kids and y'all got me in meetings all, all month long. Doing stuff. Just doing the most. But I'm not upset. Okay, so I got that flattened out. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm trying not to. I got this little contraption and I don't want to move it too much because it may fail me. All right, hold, hold that right there. Okay, um, let me show you the marinade that I use for the chicken breast. Yo. If you ain't got no moha in your kitchen, you are missing out. Get the badia moho. The moho, all it is, it's a bunch of citrus juices. It is, hold on. Hold on. Because in my in my old age, I have to wear glasses to read now. This is a rich and flavorful marinade for meats, poultry, fish, and seafood. Got my poultry here. Fish and seafood. Isn't fish seafood? Why would it distinguish like there's a difference? Is there a difference between fish and seafood? I thought fish came from the sea. Okay. Ingredients. Orange and grapefruit juice, vinegar, dehydrated vegetables like garlic, onion, 
Then you got your salt, spices, herbs, bitter orange concentrate, yada, yada, yada. So your first ingredients in this mojo are, are citrus juices. This is great for breaking down that meat and tenderizing it. Mm. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So that's what I had. I probably had that marinating for about an hour or so. Um, but I, I'm, I'm still going to use my mallet. Okay? Mallet. You need a mallet in your kitchen. Okay? And one side has the prongs for really beating out, you know, tough areas of, of meat. This is a smoother side, so it didn't go through any, so it didn't cut through the meat, okay? But you need a mallet in your, in your kitchen. If you don't use it for cooking, it's a great tool for knocking somebody out. It is. It is. And all I'm going to do is very gently... Because I don't want to break the surface of the bag. Is just beat the chicken in the mojo. Like so. I can see this breaking down already. I'm not using the um, the pronged end because I don't want it to cut through the bag or the meat. I'm using the smooth end, ever so gently. Why y'all not talking to me tonight? Y'all watching, but y'all not talking. Talk to me, honey. Tell me what's going on. Move the bag around a little bit. Hi, Cousin Flora. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Those bra Hold on. Mary said my brows are on point. Girl, let me take my glasses off to show you, child. Now, I've been perfecting these brows for some years now. Now, it's a little... I had these... It's been all day, and I really didn't touch them up, but... Yeah, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That way when you do your side eye, people know you for real. Mm-hmm. Yes! <laughs> Honey, and put my little lashes on. It's, it's a must. It's a must. It's self-care. Right now, I'm beating out this chicken. Mad about all the meetings they had me in? Yes, I'm mad. I'm so angry. I almost cut my bag there. All right. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be good. Okay. That's going to be good. All right. Put the glasses over here. Get my oil back on the fire. Oh, y'all can't hear it, but there was shell for real in the background. I need mute mood music. I can't let y'all hear it because I'll end up in Facebook jail, but honey, let me tell you. Mm, 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 mm. No rhyme, no reason. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think I want to chop this chicken up a little bit. See, the beauty, of, I told you the beauty about creating recipes is you can just do it your way. And that's what I'm prepared to do. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to slice this chicken up a little bit. I need to hunt it. NASA. I got my, you know, I got my cabinet over there. Ooh, that's my guest. Oh Lord, y'all. Now, when I, I'm I'm gonna toss, cause I live in a gated community. 
that's because of you know I, I want to keep X's out or the X. Mm -hmm. So I gotta go. <laughs> Okay, baby, I'll see you. Enjoy your date with your husband. That's my niece, Tara, y'all. She and her husband have a standing date, and I ain't mad at them. That's so, I mean, that's, hmm. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Honey. I'm going to throw the key down to my guests so y'all can see who I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on. You still watch it, don't you? Hey, Look at my big sister, Cheryl. Hi, boo. I love you. All right. I'm going to, um, don't go nowhere. I'm throwing the key down real fast to my guests. Be right back. Don't go. I'm right here. I'm, I'm with you always. Come on now. Stay right there. Yeah, I gotta keep working out. Ooh, we haunted them stairs. All the stairs. Ooh, we. Jesus be an elevator somewhere. Oh, but I guess I need to work out. I think my guess has become lost. In any case, I mean, I'm really breathing hard. I'm gonna finish slicing up this chicken. Oh, it's good and tender. Mm hmm. I'm just sticking it on this plate here. And then I'll add a little more seasoning to it. I don't know how much salt that mojo had in it. Yeah, anyway, so, about to be back to school for these kids, and, uh, yeah, these, these meetings, not that they're senseless, not that they have no purpose, um, but they take a lot of time, you know, for people who are pretty seasoned at, at doing this work and um, you know I always like to have tools in my tool belt for what we do but my god does it have to take eight hours a day five days a week hey Bonita oh 
That's my guest. Come on in, guest. Hello. My guess is introducing. Hold on one second. Now I told y'all I had a very special guest tonight. Stand right there. Don't move. I want you to make your your big D butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all see my um cape, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. She said yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You better do it. <laughs> Extraordinaire, oh, my bestie, my sister from another mister. Come on now. I'm talking, we go back some school days, we some high school right days. Back. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Viva Lewis! <laughs> Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all, this smelling so good up in here. Child, Ooh. I'm trying to get it together. I thought you got lost. I went down there looking for you. No, I went down and then I, I drove saw you. By, and then I drove back by. I say, my and then I drove is lost. in. And then I said, ooh. And then I drove back out. I'm glad you did, cause you know they all told you. Yeah, I just need to see the side, the um number on the building. Oh, gotcha. So okay. I drove back out. And I, said, I should have told you which one. No, you fine. Oh and then goodness. I came up all them steps. Child, I, look Ugh. here. I went down there to get you, and Ooh. I came back up here. I couldn't even finish chopping my chicken. Because <laughs> cause I can't breathe. Is that Pat? That Pat. Hey, Pat! <laughs> Girl, Pat is in the building. She on my... You ain't missed nothing, Pat. We just got started, really. Yeah, girl. We just nothing, nothing, nothing right now. Well, I had stuff I was gonna help you do. I mean, I was gonna have you help me do. Well, what you need? Um, I don't know. I Let finished making your salad. Let me wash my hands. Go on, girl. And get up in here oh. and help you out. Y'all. Yes, ma'am. Let me tell you. You were talking about somebody come through in the closet. Huh? All right. That's huh? right. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all! Look yes. at Pat. Okay, good. Yes. Okay. Here we go. It's good. What you need? It's good. Um, All I need for you is to make yourself a drink. Mm -hmm. uh, I got your salad made. Did you show them the salad? I showed them the salad. Oh, my I'll Lord. I'll show them again. Look at this salad. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, artisan lettuce, mm -hmm. romaine, what, what red kind of, onion. Kind of it's, it's, it's artisan. <laughs> <laughs> we from Lee County, but we culture. But what kind of what kind of lettuce we got over here? Artisan. Artisan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> some carrots, some English cucumbers. Mm. Less seeds. English cucumbers. English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did I say I had capers in here, honey? Girl, you got capers. I got the capers. Yes, she I got, do. I've got capers. <laughs> oh, oh, on me. <laughs> Devil's field come through. <laughs> and we got some good old fashioned deviled eggs, honey. Mm -hmm. She got the devil. Uh, I want you to make your own drink. And start and commence to eating. Oh, raw. Oh, While God. I get this chicken Honey, sauteed and browned. This is amazing. Girl. Mm, I get to tease everybody who gets to I watch know. it. I get to taste it. This is awesome. I'm, I'm just so blessed just to have. Ooh, we. Family. Um, child. I Let me. Mm, hold on. You got to sip on that one. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to sip. That's a sipping moment. 
Everybody got a glass or mm. something to drink on there. They get y'all. Ain't nobody drinking. They supposed to drink with us. Like cheers. They ain't nobody gonna cheers. Ain't nobody gonna cheers with us. We'll wait. Ooh. It's Friday. I will, baby. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I have uh, one of my coworkers, Vanessa uh, Wesley Bordeaux. She asked where my drink was, so she, she did. is Nessa. Okay. Nessa so, got her drink. I, where yours at? Where's yours, Vanessa? <laughs> Do you have yours? That's right. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm. Vanessa said you did not tell us to bring wine. <laughs> Vanessa, go in the kitchen. menu pat you so late i'm gonna tell you <laughs> so for those of you that are just joining us on the menu we have you better bring your glass thanks so much Nelson Wesley. um we have um porta uh chicken portabella oh mm. goodness chicken portabella with a creamy spinach artichoke topping and of course we've got our um, salad, and we've got our devil to egg, and I even got some for dessert. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, I don't normally do dessert, because I ain't a sweet girl. I'm sweet enough. Yes, you are. However, I wanted to make sure I did this right for my girl, so I, I'm going to do a little dessert tonight, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay. I see it. It's coming now. It's smoking. It smells so bright. Get that chicken on that. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, what just happened. Child. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Don't be mad, y'all. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Next time, it might be your time. Right now. It's my time. <laughs> right now, it's time. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. This, um, that sounds so good. I bring my go bag. I got so I want to want you to see what I'm doing in my um paella pan. Come on, uh, the chicken is sautéing. I want to get it nice and caramelized. So I'm gonna um put some um uh, Himalayan sea salt on there to kind of sweat it out. Oh, it's gonna sweat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I make you sweat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting it in. Yes. Ah, yes. Awesome. Um, 
Yes. Yes, that is good. This is some very good um, rose wine. Girl. So, did I tell y'all Viva is the one that made my cake? Yes, Viva's Closet. So, if you're looking for something on that Wakanda tip, honey, <laughs> or even if you're not, it don't have to be Afrocentric, but if yeah, you want, you it don't matter. Whatever your vision is, she can make it come to life, honey. Let me tell you, her hands are holy. Oh, They're holy. Praise God. So, order yours. Uh, cause I got mine. <laughs> Be, what kind of wine is that? She says, um, so this is Trader Joe's. Let's see. I let you. That Trader I, Joe's be coming through. Girl, listen. They have peach and mango. Via Elena Rosé. But this one is a rosé. Can y'all see that? <sighs> right there from Trader Joe's. Wow. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Let me see. When I tell y'all it's smelling good up in here, mm. oh, I'm about to burn my chicken. She ain't burning it. Look at that. But see, that's kind of that's what you want to happen. You want to get that nice brown prettiness going. Now I gotta put it back on. Now I'm, I'm just showing you, but I gotta make sure. Ooh, it's so tender. Oh yes. You gotta make sure that that cooks properly. All right, now for the dessert, baby. Baby. So we're gonna do some apple turnovers. Um, my mom gave me some frozen apples that I stewed with some sugar, a little bit of lime juice, um, nutmeg, cinnamon and a pinch of salt because you want to balance the sugar and the my, my bakers out there y'all know so we're gonna do some uh, quick apple turnovers um, after dinner what am I looking for oh I need something to cut my turnovers with um you know what? I think it's a good size. I'm going to use a cutout from uh, I don't know. Anyway, for, for the crust, let me tell you. It's quick. It's easy. It's from the store. Okay, that's what we're going to do, some pie crust, okay? Um, because the girl ain't got time to be up here rolling no crust. Now, mama can do that, but I, I, I didn't have the energy for that today after all of them darn meetings. All going to meet Y'all, this is, um... Let me turn this down. It's getting to a place now where I think it's brown enough. I'm going to let that just slowly cook off a little bit. Take your little crust out. Unroll it. It's as simple as that, y'all. As simple as that. Y'all, when I think about the opportunity to share, to share these little recipes with you these little nuggets and and just enjoy time with you it just does my heart so good i love it i love it i love it um yeah i think i'm gonna do i need a smaller bowl for that cutout i think I think this might do it. Alright, let me show you what I'm going to do, okay? I think you know where I'm going with this. You got your paper. You got your bowl upside down. And all you're going to do is 
press and twist. That sounded a lot easier than, than it actually was. So what I'm going to do. <laughs> Just cut around it. Cause see in my mind, in my mind it was just supposed to like cut itself and it didn't work like that. So I'ma just cut around it, cut around it. Like so. Mm. What? 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 Come on somebody. Say amen. <laughs> y'all every time we get together and eat that's how we act that's just how we act all right so we got that going and now i'm gonna get a little teaspoon i got my stewed apples right here with my cinnamon my nutmeg my sugar my salt oh i put a little vanilla in there did I say nutmeg? Yes. Something else. Mm. Oh. Anyway, I stewed it up right nice. And I'm going to just take a little scoop. I don't want to overstuff these little things. Okay, but just a little bit. I took a heaping teaspoon and put it in there. Let me show you what I did. Uh-oh. Can you, can you see? <laughs> like... Amen, Vicky. <laughs> there you go. Uh-huh. That little bit. Yes, lime. Thank Patricia. What I tell you, my little sister is the best. She remembers things. Mm. Thank you, Pat. I did put lime juice in there. And now I'm just gonna turn my little turnover. Like thus and so. No, no, I'm not. Before I do that, I forgot one crucial element. And that is, y'all, my butter. Gotta, gotta get my butter on. I'm gonna do a few seconds on that. Get my egg wash. butter. I might have to take this down to show y'all, do I? Okay. I'm going to try. Okay. So, um, I'm going to just take my little butter, go around the edges. I know it's a lot, but I like butter. That's probably why I'm so fat. Roll it over. I might have done a little too much inside and I'm just going to press with my fork and press it down to keep it from seeping out when it's baking. Y'all let me tell you the music I got going right now is the truth. I'm going to leave that just as a little vent. Look at that. Hey, thank you. And, and you got a little apple turnover just that fast. And you didn't have to roll no crust. Right? Now you tell me. It's still homemade because you're making it at home. That's what I say. And I dare anybody to come for you. All right, I'm going to do another one. I can get a few of them out this one roll. 
and I'm just going to go around and around and around. Y'all do realize some of the stuff that I do, I just come up with as, as I go, right? Because cooking is just about creating your own masterpiece. You ain't got to do it nobody else's way. Um, I don't believe in that. I just, I just create as I go and I have fun doing it because life is too short to eat boring food and be mad. Mm. Go around with the butter again. And fold over. Fold over, press, press, press. Take your fork and press around the edges to keep everything from sliding out as it's baking. Got it? Got another cute little turnover. Ba-bam! Yeah! And you did that. I forget about the chicken is off. Vicky. It ain't, it ain't burning, honey. Call it on burning no chicken. Mm-hmm. What movie is that from? Y'all remember that? <laughs> I don't burn no chicken. Let me tell you, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Okay? Okay. Ain't no chicken burnt. Ain't no chicken burnt, honey. We don't, we, don't, we don't do that. I'm gonna make another one. And then I'm going to stop. I'm going to do an egg wash on that. Um, Viva, what are you doing? I'm coming right now. Oh, okay. She, she probably talking to her grandbaby child. She got a new grandchild. He is just adorbs. Adorbs. Now, you know I was in here, uh, had to have a little conversation with one of the little children. You did? Yes. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Good. Trying to be up in my business like I ain't going to. Uh-uh. What you do? Which one? Jessica. Ooh, look at what the Lord has <laughs> done on this fine Friday night. <laughs> Won't he do it? Yes, he will. <laughs> she's so crazy. Why <laughs> is she crazy, though? Because she's my friend. That's why. Girl, that apple cop look at the Holy Ghost. Look at it. <laughs> Y'all didn't see this here. Did you show that to me? I showed them. This is my third one. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. Yes. That's how we do. That's love. Yes. When my peeps come through, this is how we do. Oh. All right. So we got the chicken going. Oh, that's amazing. Now, what I'm going to do is start to put the chicken on top of the uh, portobello. Like so. Oh, there's Lisa. Hey, Lisa. That's Lisa. Hi, boo. Lisa. Get the shot so she can see you. She can't oh. see you. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Y'all, me and my girlfriends, we support each other like so hard, yes. yo. You have to. Like, if 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 one of us doing something, then hell, all of us doing we something. We all doing it. Because we going to lift each other up. And don't you think that's the way sisters need to be? Amen. I ain't talking about just blood relatives. I'm talking about black women in general. Like, what we so catty about? Right. What, what, what are we doing that for? Because that ain't helping nobody's cause. Come on, man. Nobody's. That's a sign right there. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying. I don't even want to touch this salad. It's I'm, so pretty. You better take a picture. Where's my uh, salad tongs at? And hold it. You're acting crazy. Hold, wait a minute. Hold sure. the line. Okay. Hold the line. Where's <laughs> my camera? I'll take my glasses. Yes, exactly. Okay. 
so we um I was telling y'all about these meetings we had and probably the best one we went to was the one I didn't want to go to that Viva made me go to <laughs> was that DEIA meeting the diversity equity inclusion and access mm -hmm. meeting which was really good the the facilitator was awesome um she did a great job let me ask you something Viva um I, I mix. no please okay. mix so one of the things we talked about in particular was the black experience yes you know um and some of those stereotypes that many people hold when it comes to black people and blackness um uh for instance uh in the workplace you know if a black woman says something then she and and she challenges a situation, mm -hmm. um, then she appears to be combative. Right. Right? She's an angry, angry black, black woman. woman. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we talked about that. And we also talked about because I I sensed I sensed in the room um that there was some of my non black sisters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that may be a little tense when discussing topics mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay. okay. Um, and let me tell you, when you're discussing race and differences and things like that, it ain't always easy. It ain't always cute. Oh, so right now I'm taking my spinach artichoke dip and I'm putting it on top of the chicken. Come on, and then man. on top of it is tomato. Okay. My goodness. So, um, one of the things we actually talked about was um, if I share my experience as a black person, forget woman, man, whatever, just as a black person in general, um, why as a non-black person do you feel the need to minimize my pain or my experience by saying well, I don't do that, or I have black friends, and I would never treat them like that. Mm -hmm. I don't see color. Y'all know we see color. Come on now. We all do. We all see color. So, I don't know. It was just, it was just interesting because I think in, in any of our experiences, we can get kind of defensive about that. That's just true. Me. That's I mean... True. Hey, Kenyatta! Hey, Kenyatta! Hey, Vega! Hey, hey Vega! Hey, I think I got my skirt on, Vega. <laughs> uh -oh. I got my shirt on, Vega. Yes, honey. <laughs> Vanessa said they are guilty with the capital G U I L T Y. Oh! Hold up, hold up. Oh! Wait a minute. Where, where mine at? Wait a minute. Where that? Hold on, where that? Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. Hold mm. up. Vanessa? Mm hmm. Ain't no matter bad, mad but the devil. Come on now. Tell the truth. Even I see color. <laughs> we all do. Pat, you are absolutely right. We see color. We but do. But we have to stand in that truth and be able to have that conversation. We have to be able to have that conversation in order for us to heal. But if we keep hiding it and lying about it and not standing in our truth, we'll never heal from it. Like never. Dedrick Jackson is on here. Lisa is sending kisses. Hey, Dedrick. Hi. Oh, sorry, Dedrick. No, that's okay. Hi, boo. Yeah, we just, um, we got to do, and, and I think that a lot of this, I'm going to just call it what it is, bullshit that we see on, on TV and in our world, in our country. Is um is because we're afraid of conversations. Y'all listen. No, I got wait. What you got? Hold on. Wait a minute. You ain't eating no dressing. Wait I ain't put no dressing on. I got a special dressing. Oh, I ain't put no dressing on. That's all good. Y'all, hold on. 
She making me stop the 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 talk. Pat, you know we gotta have conversation. So this here, y'all, go to Aldi, y'all, and get this garlic vinaigrette. It is so good. Y'all don't need to be eating all that ranch dressing on everything. And Listen. French and Thousand Island and stuff. You better get you some garlic vinaigrette. Hold on. Listen. Girl, it is crunching so mm. good. Let me Ooh, tell y'all something. Hey. Yes, honey. Y'all listen. Mm. This salad right here tastes like... Yes. I'm sitting in the garden. <laughs> in the garden. In the garden, people. In the secret garden. Oh, my gosh. Mm. No, she didn't Ooh, take it back. Mom, what dressing is this? I told you. Y'all listen. It's that garlic vinaigrette bowl. I said bowl. This right here. This right here bowl. <laughs> you know we from the club. Hey, Herbert. You need to get you some of that right there. Child. Lord have mercy. Oh, Carla is back on you. I'm going to eat this salad. Go on, eat your salad, child. Girl, this don't make no sense. Uh, she I, you know, I need my pocketbook. So I can put some in my purse <laughs> in a container. I, I don't know why I didn't bring my to-go plates. I know. I meant to tell you. I meant to bring some Tupperware. Y'all, I, I might have some Tupperware in here for listen, you to take home. Listen, y'all, listen. Why she oh. acting fool over some salad? Listen. Either you know um, the, uh, um, the devil Child. eggs, too. I don't know where I will. This is, this is the... Um, the uh creation here oh my lord now it's not done because it's going in the oven mm -hmm. mm. it's going in the oven boo <laughs> i told you honey i make everything fresh i lost my hold on bear with me oh i hope i don't lose my life by trying to put this phone back up it's still live okay Y'all, y'all can tell I'm an old lady. Oh, my know. word. Oh, mm. Lord. Oh. Mm -mm. That did something. Okay. Okay, we good. We good. Y'all still there, right? Okay. Yeah, I see vibe on there. Yeah, we good. Hey. Cooking with sauce. Cooking with what kind of dress? Listen, I need to take a picture with this here dressing. Hold up. Hold the line. Yeah, girl. But, and you got that from all this? All day. That's the only kind I buy. That garlic vinaigrette, let me tell you, honey. What? Don't add no extra pounds. It's so good. You don't need to add nothing to that. So I was all that chicken right there. Mm. With that mojo marinade. Get my camera. Those spices, that orange and citrus and lime. And There's a scent for this. It make it so tender. White garlic cloves infused with herbs and spices. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. It's wild. That right there. And yeah. that was good when I was eating it without dressing. I was like. Okay. Hold up. Let me tell you. We ain't come to play. Mm -mm. We ain't come to play. We quit and recess. Mm. Let me tell you something. Sure. This right here. I'm just so glad you're enjoying it, honey. Listen. And you in my space. Mm. I love That's all I need. Please. Let me tell you something. This is I all know, I need. I know, no, I know etiquette is you're not supposed to talk with your mouth full. Child, please. I be eating with my fingers around here. But let me tell you something. All kind of stuff. Listen, Linda. You think I ain't got no home trainer. Uh-oh, I done lost my light. You lost the light? Yeah, that's all right. Deep inside my heart. Let me tell you something. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, word. Oh, she want, Vanessa wants the bottle you use to marinate the chicken. The Oh, let me show you the, the bottle I use, the marinade. What my, hold on. Now, so hold on, boo. Let me get my light. Y'all, Food Network ain't gonna hire me doing all of these things here. <laughs> Honey, you are authentic. They gonna be like, she fixing lights and doing stuff. She don't know what she doing. Honey, Food Network don't have to hire you. You can own a cooking channel. Oh, a TV network. Come on, put that out there in the See, atmosphere. I'm not working for somebody. Let somebody work for you. See what your sisters do for you. Child, they make you think you can run the... Who run the world? Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that just now. 
shop food line Publix but anywhere in the Hispanic food section they've got this uh, brand Badia and it's called Mojo Mojo M-O-J-O and this is all you need to season your um your chicken child and it's so good you can add a little salt or whatever hey Donya hi mm. Donya Perry mm. now I gotta eat all proper and whatnot. what not what Child. Mm. Are you home? You are home. Did y'all still hit a crunch? Let me tell you, I don't believe in the wilted salad now. Mm. I makes it fresh. Thank you, Donnie. I appreciate it, dear. Mm. Hey, mm -hmm. just doing a new thing, honey. Doing a new thing. Come on, okay. Mm. My goodness. Let me tell you something. This right here. I'm so glad. I'm gonna get some of that, girl. You making me. And you don't need to name those devil eggs, honey. Them, 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 them eggs. I get them soft. Wait a minute. Call them. What are we gonna call them? They were kissed by the Lord. We gonna call them angel eggs. <laughs> <laughs> no devil up in here. Ain't no devil up in here. These are angel eggs, y'all. Child. Listen. I thought angels um, didn't have no sex anyway. They don't have no gender. How they gonna have eggs? Child, it don't matter. I, I never had them. <laughs> I don't even know, child. Where did that name come from anyway? Devil eggs. Why are they devil eggs? Devil eggs, devil crab. Why is that? Can somebody look that up for us? Um, research department. Can y'all go look up why we call it deviled? When it's stuffed. Yeah, why do they say deviled eggs and go deviled crab? Yeah, go, go look that That's up. a good question. Let's, go. on. Let's get research on that. Research! Yeah. Let's do that. And while y'all do that, mm. I'm going to eat another one of these angel eggs. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where your wine at, though? Right now. Okay. Y'all, I'm almost embarrassed. Why? Wow. my plate. That's just how I want it. Mm -hmm. Empty. Girl, you put your big toe in this right here. Thank you, boo. I ain't yes, please. please. Oh, my. I ain't please. Mm. 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 Yo, mm. this is dinner in a pinch. Mm. You know, I'm overdoing it with a whole bunch of grease and oil and stuff like that. And it's so healthy. It's, it's healthy. I don't feel, you know how many you eat? And you eat too much and you feel overly mm -hmm. stuffed and mm -hmm. you're just, ugh, after the fact. Yep. When that itis set in. Girl! There's no itis here. Like, it's so light. And it's, I don't have any heartburn, no nothing. Like, I'm just, listen. Wait till you taste that, um, portobello, girl. Wait a minute. Hold the mine. Let me drink my juice. Oh, I forgot to put your olives in the salad. That's all right. I'm drinking my juice. Mmm. 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 It sure tastes good to me. <laughs> And they'll pray for you, 
and they'll go and chase somebody in a black pillowcase for you and they'll be ready to go to the end for you no matter what you say I need and they roll up their sleeves and be ready to go that's when you got one let me see you better get you one she said we need a show for real <laughs> This Carla show. We do need a show, though. Yeah, that I, would be fun. Girl. You know, people on our job already said they don't know what they're going to do with us together. Y'all, let me tell y'all. what We finally told our executive director, Donya, that we went to high school together. She didn't know that. When we told Ms. Yates that, she was like, what? Yeah, girl, you did that. Yeah. We back in high school. We back, back in high school, school now. Again. Oh, gosh, I hate to say this. Vanessa on here. Vanessa. Who's so, Vanessa? Vanessa, they asked about the wine. Vanessa worked with me at um, Allenbrook Elementary School. Uh-oh. Vanessa, um, I would love to meet you. I look forward to meeting you because uh, she won't be there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She will be with me for a little while. For and Dub C, Vanessa. But you're welcome to come visit. And we'll come visit you. Matter of fact, Vanessa, you know what? I'm going to bring you a bottle of wine. Ooh. Yep. Let me know. I'll definitely For real. Mm -hmm. She is amazing. And she's a grandma, too. She's a grandma. Oh, Vanessa, grandma. you a grandma? Yes. Oh, Vanessa ain't Catholic, girl. You better talk to Vanessa. And she say, say what? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get out the camera. Don't get out the frame now. Nah, leave me. You must have ride or die. Roll up your that. sleeve. Okay, roll up my sleeve. But, I, but Vanessa, I'm gonna bring you some wine. Bring you some wine. So it is true. Uh, this year I will be at West Charlotte High School. Dude, see? You know? <laughs> I think I got it. I think I did. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Ooh, Vanessa say y'all wrong for that. Ooh. But I'm still starting the year. I'm gonna still be at Allenbrook for a couple of days a week. Just a couple that of days. That is not even. <laughs> <laughs> she said two bottles of wine for this. Look now, I'm on right. a budget now. I'm on a budget. Mm. I can do a bottle a month. A bottle a month. What? For about two months. Let me get in on that day. <laughs> a bottle a month for this for about two months. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Mm. This is. To be able, this is my date on a Friday night. A date with my sister girl. I was telling her, because Friday, I don't like to go out on Friday. I don't need that. It's nothing to do on Fridays that's for us. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I gotta yes. move. Hold on. I'm gonna keep on talking. I'm gonna okay. fix this camera. Oh, Vanessa says she's sick. No, you're oh, not. Vanessa, don't be sick. I'm not leaving you yet. She's not leaving. She's gonna be back. She will be back. And she would definitely come to visit. Vanessa, look at it this way. The beautiful thing about it is, the thing that I loved about this is some of the kids that she worked with a while ago, she said no. She said she's happy she ain't for feeling you. it. No, she's happy for oh, you. Oh, thank you, boo. <laughs> some of the kids that she worked with, I was excited. We went to the school, what was that, a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, for the principal's meeting. she walked meeting. on campus, and these kids were just calling her name and remembering they were um oh i forget the kids names now yeah so, but they were our kids from allenbrook and um and one of mine from whitewater and the beautiful thing about it the way that carla's eyes lit up and the way that those kids eyes lit up why is the camera on me Cause Cause hey, and the way that um carla's eyes lit up this is going to be amazing for her to be able to see where they're going so now instead of planting seeds, she's able to see them grow now. She's able to water them. And I'm so excited to have <laughs> them. We're in high school again, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Again. It West is crazy. It will never be the same. Child. It will never be the same. I'm never. A, I'm adjusting the camera. Y'all see I'm going up and down, right? For real. No, I'm just teasing. Uh-oh. Girl, you're doing fine. I love this. This is, this is, this is. Everybody loves it. Y'all tell Carla how much of a great job she's doing. I'm so proud of her. I am. That is so neat. I need to put the feet on It's supposed to be on you. It's supposed to be on us. This is your show. For the table talk. Oh. 
Vanessa says, I'm excited to, to see, um, she is awesome and the world needs more. I know, Vanessa, she is amazing. I just love her. What are you doing? Chatting, mommy? Y'all, she back in the oven. Hello, Mr. Michael. How are you, Mr. Ben? I don't know who that is. I'm just That's working with your people, Michael. man. Yes, yeah, she is doing a great job. Can you see? Please, I don't want to be jacking up people's name. Kiona, did I say that right? Kiona. That is such a pretty name. Hey, Kiona. Kiona. She said you are doing a great job. She loves you. You see how many people you touch? Just in your presence. Like, you are amazing. Child. Absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of you. I'm like big sister elephant proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, I, that's like one of the biggest ones. So I'm like elephant proud of you. Let me tell y'all something. We're going to be too full before the sales and before the food get here. This right here, y'all. This right here. Get you some. I told you. That salad dressing is business. I done took a picture. How am I? This is your show. I mean, I'm. Well, let's switch seats. Because you no. need to be. Is that Pearly? I think Pearly yeah, is Sherry. Pearly. Hey, Pearly. Girl, I am you on the show. With too, yeah. I did yeah, with Michelle. Hey, Michelle. I am on Carla's show eating her food. Pearly, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how good the salad is. Y'all think I'm joking. So, we had a fresh garden salad with artisan lettuce. Artisan. I'm going to keep saying it. Mm -hmm. artisan, artisan lettuce. Artisan. Listen. Carrots, red onions, mm -hmm. capers, romaine, mm -hmm. English cucumbers, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and some deviled eggs, and we got our angel eggs. Angel eggs, yeah. Did, did research get back to us about that? Uh, what did, where that term came about, from? Yeah, we need to find out about deviled eggs. Partly, what you know about that? Deviled eggs and deviled crab eggs. Why they, eggs. Call, Why them they call it that? Why they call it deviled? I don't, I don't understand. Mm. Y'all think I'm joking. When I tell y'all this salad I don't has been kissed by the Lord. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, honey. Listen, he came down and he said, mm. yes. Yes, he did. Mm. I love it. I'm, I'm just so excited. Hey, Diana. That's my sister. How you doing, Diana? And Alaska. Hey, Alaska. I'm just over here eating Carlos food. You know what happens when you invite yourself over to people's house, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't need to invite yourself. Listen, she said she was cooking. I was like, what time? How much? Just come on. Pearly said she loved English cucumbers. Aren't they the best? They're long. Mm. They're firm. They have less seeds. Shut up. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> hey, pal. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Yeah, they're quite good. Mm -hmm. mm. Chow. Mm. Oh, my gosh. What kind of wine are you drinking? I gotta know it's a red. Dry. You know it's a dry red. It's a Cabernet yes, it Sauvignon. How did I know? Winking Owl mm -hmm. from it's, Aldi. It's winking in the owl. Winking in the owl. Come mm -hmm. on now. That winking oh, owl. Oh, really said maybe because the gas it gives you is hell. What? Well, <laughs> Though, <laughs> I think you need to go back and uh, check your data. 
<laughs> yes, yes, I just love fresh sap. Let's Girl. check out Wikipedia. What does Wikipedia say, y'all? <laughs> we really want to know about these deviled eggs. Hold up. Look at look mine. It up. Excuse my manners. I need to know. So we shouldn't bring cell phones to the dinner table, y'all. I know, but I'm just saying. This research based. But we're gonna yeah, this research right here. I need to take my glasses off so mm. I can see. Who take their glasses off so they can see? Me. I know some of y'all over there in Facebook land take mm -hmm. y'all glasses off so y'all can see too. Don't play. Well. Where did deviled eggs get their name? Let's see. Take off my glasses. I'm going to tell y'all. So it originated in Italy. <laughs> so the dish's origin can be seen in recipes for boiled seasoned eggs as far back as ancient Rome, where they were traditionally served as a first course. The dish is popular in Europe and North America, but why? Other names were stuffed eggs, so they were named stuffed, stuffed eggs before. Yes, okay, it makes Russian, sense. Russian eggs and dressed eggs. I don't want nothing Russian. That Vladimir. Yeah, we'll do that stuff. All messed up. Yeah, we don't do that. No, no, no. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Although they weren't prepared the same way, the roots of modern day deviled eggs can oh, can be traced back to ancient ancient Rome where eggs were boiled, seasoned with spicy sauces, and then typically served at the beginning of a meal as a first course known as gustatio for wealthy, oh, for wealthy people. Oh, we wealthy. <laughs> Wait a minute, what they say? We made it. Probably said her mind went with me. <laughs> Listen, we made it, y'all. We eating wealthy eggs over here. Would y'all like some wealthy eggs? Still don't make sense as to why they name them. They devil still ain't say like, devil. What does that mean? I don't know. Where's the research team? Mm, y'all, I don't know. I think I done burned your portobello. Girl, that portobello ain't burned. Honey said we are both glowing. Pearly, let me tell you something, honey. Are you ready for your main course? Yeah, girl. <laughs> Why is she playing with the food? <laughs> mm. I am ready to serve your main dish, ma'am. I am ready to eat your main <laughs> dish. <laughs> yes, yeah, honey. Thank you, Pearly. Pearly said that we are both glowing. Girl. That's what that good living will do for you, child. Honey, that's what good living will do. Pearly, I am at peace, honey. Peace is a beautiful thing. If y'all ain't got none, get you some. Better. Get you some peace. Yeah? It will bless your bones. Mmm. 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 Y'all, I'm sorry. Now, you know you got to take a picture of it and send it to me now. You want me to take so a picture of the food and send it to you? Um, yeah, let me get your food. Okay, I shall win. Mm-hmm. Y'all hold the line. It's a commercial break while I'm eating her salad. She getting the rest of the food together. Mm. And I'm going to try to use my manners so I ain't going to lift the plate up and lick it. When I, I do that y'all, when nobody here. I just take the plate and, and I just suck it. <laughs> I want to do it that so bad, so but you good. know, y'all, that juice so good. Y'all, look good. at this. That's what you got. That's your, your chicken portobello topped with a creamy um, spinach artichoke dip. Oh, there you go. You can see it now, right? Who does that? I do it. Sugar pearls. Hire me. You better. You won't go wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hard. What, girl? Mm. Y'all, she took one plate and gave me another one. Let me sip some the juice. <laughs> juice. <laughs> mm. Mm. Y'all see how she do me? Lord, have mercy. Mm. 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 Good. This girl, look. This is just beautiful. Oh, and, and you got a little design right here in the plate. What's in the yeah. my so get my phone. That's just a little, uh, um... Pearly wants to know if this will be a weekly thing. Pearly, 
What do you think? Should this be a weekly thing for Sugar Pearls? Let's see. Now y'all know it takes some good grocery money to do this thing. <laughs> y'all gonna send some now cash out. I don't need no food stamp. Y'all gonna send some cash out to her. You know what would be great? They can come up with different menu, with different meals. What my classmates did, Willie. Yeah, Willie wants me to do oxtails one day. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, you know I still high now. Yeah, you know I'm coming I gotta that wait till the we the might next need about check for we that. need about three tails. Right. And we'll we'll share one and a half. Right. <laughs> That's how that gonna go. Yeah. But I tell y'all, this is gorgeous. You know I took a picture. I'm glad you did. Let, let me take another picture without the fork and the knife in the way. Oh, hold the line. <laughs> hold the I line. I love it. Y'all wait a minute. We come. She coming back. She coming back, y'all. I'm, I'm right here. She over here trying to serve me. I don't know why. Like this ain't my second home. Right. Let me cater to you. Come baby, baby, this is your day. day. Yeah, so y'all get singing and everything. <laughs> what about that Slater? Slater taught us that. Right. We, we can harmonize it too now. We can harmonize it. Yes, honey. That is absolutely gorgeous. Carla. If nobody else has told you, baby girl, you are absolutely You ain't tasting amazing. yet. You better hope it's good. Child, they look good. <laughs> hey, Jessica, how are you? Let me see. Pearly said, I am feeling the dialogue in dinner. Really, Pearly? Yeah. That's, okay. It's a regular old chat and chew, ain't it? That's what I, what I said. I said, we're going to do a chat and chew. Hi, Tamisha. How are you? So, if y'all want us to. Um, you give us a topic, and we can discuss it as, oh, as a team, yeah. and uh, put it out there, see what the people say. That's and, a great uh, idea. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that's a great idea. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. It, it could happen. It could. Y'all, let me explain. There's to nothing too hard for God. Won't it do it? Yes, it did. Hold the line, y'all. Hold the line. Oh, I think my portobello done got too soft though. Y'all don't pay her no attention. Listen. I'm sorry. I I have to critique mm. so I can get better. Mm -mm. Hey, Tamisha. Listen, hold up. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. 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 This right here? I just ate that on my hand. Listen. That's good. Hold up. Mm. Okay, it's not too You soft. remember how David danced before the Lord? Like, <laughs> yeah, he danced his clothes off. He sure did. He danced out of his clothes. Let me let me tell y'all something. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This right here. I'm serious. Don't play with me. Tell me what I need you to do. You know, I always tell the truth. I man. know. This right here, y'all. Mm. Lord have mercy. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hey, Sheena. Hold the line. Mm. 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 Hold, hold, mm. hold on, y'all. Mm. Hold on. Listen. Mm. She got this tomato on here. That tomato bring about a certain little Listen, sweetness. At the it's end. like a Don't sweetness. It? All of this right here together, like you gotta have it together, right? And when you marinate that chicken and that moho honey, let me tell you, it goes all through that meat. But you gotta beat it. You gotta really bang it out with the marinade. Beat marinade. it, beat it, beat it, beat it. I don't know the rest. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get them flavors down in there. Y'all, cause don't know. I can't stand when people cook food and it seem like the flavor mm. be slipping off the meat, off the food. You want it to permeate your food. Oh, say that word again. Permeate. <laughs> Let it take time to really go through and and get through every crack and crevice of. Mm. My tongue is slow dancing with the flavors. Play a little slow jam. Mm. Crown, Facebook jail gonna get you now. Oh, sorry, Facebook. 
<laughs> Who sang that song? Was it the deal? No, it wasn't the deal. No, it wasn't the deal. Hey, Michelle! Who sang that song for real? I can't remember. Okay, I'm gonna get my cell phone one more time. Yeah. Because we're gonna make sure Facebook police don't get us. Hold the line. Wow. Mm. Y'all, this food, I'm, listen. Mm. I was like, slow jam. Eat, slow jam lyrics. Let me see. I take my glasses off so I can see. Well, Usher and Monica sang it too. So that, that, Okay, so by Usher and Monica. Here we go. They redid it. They redid it. So that's what we're going to say. Was it Heat Wave? No. It might be. Yo, who sang that song? We got to go back to research. Research department. Who sang that song? Slow Jam. Mm, mm, mm. Listen. Yeah, if I'm you had a hard day at work. Mm -hmm. Or you're stressed out. Grab you a friend. Mm -hmm. Sit down at a table. And enjoy a meal and some juice. Per this slow jam. I was going to sing it, but we don't want to get arrested from Facebook. Let me tell y'all something. I don't remember who sang Who sang that song? Mm -hmm. I hope y'all be trying these recipes, y'all. Oh, you gave them the recipe? Well, you know. I That's don't, amazing. I don't write recipes. So you got to. She don't, y'all. Just go as I go. She don't measure. She don't do nothing. Change it how you want. Make it yours. It, it won't offend me. But, um, yeah. Midnight but, Star. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Vanessa. Oh, my. She working for that wine, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, do you like sweet wine or dry wine? She I got working to make for that sure. wine. I got to make sure I get Vanessa. Honey. Vanessa, when I meet you, I just want to hug and love up on you, girl. Let me tell you, it'll be so easy because she is so amazing. She's a sweetheart. She is so sweet. I just oh want to bless gosh. her. Every day the same. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, wow. Yes, Michelle, and a plate of awesome food. Let me tell y'all. If you had a bad day. Vanessa is correct. Thank you, Pearlie, for confirming. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <By yourself. laughs> hey, Centrell. I went hey. to college. I went to uh, college at, at Stillman with uh, Centrell. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Hey, Trey. Trey, how are you? She's so sweet, too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm meeting all these beautiful women. Girl, let me tell you. Over here on your page. Amazing this is amazing. women. Right. Do you know what we can do as a force together? I I was saying this in mm -hmm. my last live. Y'all, everything we need is already in our community. It's already here. You got somebody that can sew you a badass cake. Whatever you want. Honey, it's you got people that Jennifer Hannibal Felder sells houses. You can get a house with a new outfit and some cooked food. And Vanessa make t-shirts too. Oh, and t-shirts. Let me tell you. Michelle, tell Michelle what we eat. Michelle want to know and, what we eat. Oh, so Michelle, so I prepared. Uh, uh, I said I prepared. Yes, you did. <laughs> so she uh, <laughs> we did a um. I'll post the picture later. I think Viva took a picture. Of I did. Her. Um, portabella, a chicken portabella with. Spinach artichoke mm -hmm. dip mm -hmm. on top. And, of course, uh, artisan salad. I'm going to keep saying artisan. It's artisan. Don't forget about them English cucumbers. And the English cucumbers. <laughs> 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 and I got apple turnovers in the oven. Come on now. My mama gave me some fresh apples. Um, and all I had to do was stew them down with some cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of lime, sugar, a dash of salt, and honey. Good I'm eating, good in the neighborhood. Oh, don't forget about our angel eggs. 
Yes, we have angel eggs mm -hmm. for the rich. For the rich, mm -hmm. that, that, you know, we did a research. Yes, someone found out that it was just for for rich folk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who knew? So we're wealthy. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, clink, clink, and we have some juice, some, some Kool Aid. Juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. mm. Chad, listen. Let me tell you. This is just good for my soul. This is better than a five-star restaurant, y'all. I'm telling you. How much would you pay for this if you went to a restaurant? I'm going to pay about $50 for this. For real? No, for real. Mm -hmm. And they ain't going to give me this much. Like, I ain't going to get seconds. You know, I like to eat. I don't I'm going to be mad if they put a little piece in the little middle of my plate. Yeah. I'm like, where the rest of right. it? I'm telling y'all, this, this was where I would pay. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot wait until you um y'all know Carla's coming up with something special. I don't know now. I now I don't know about no brick and mortar as I said. Mm -mm. Cause that ain't talking about that. That can get messy. But little food truck. Mm. My friend James Blackburn. We went to college together too. She loves some black girl magic. Y'all are beautiful. Oh. Weekend, probably I agree. We do. We can have a slumber party, girl. Yes, we could. Michelle Ain't said, no to have a slumber party at our age. That's right. We Michelle can do said, it. I need to get the word out about your skills. Called Michelle, let me tell you something. Michelle, Carla Michelle. is amazing, like real talk. She is right. her food. Is, no, you know, I do all right. I done ate over here plenty of times. <laughs> Plenty. I got one better for y'all. She done came in my kitchen and moved me out the kitchen I, I, and got my pots and started cooking for me. Now you know when you I had my surgery. Yes. She sure did. I will come and take over your kitchen. Yes, she did. Like, honestly, like, that's that's my goal. I want to be like a personal chef. Like, you want me to come do your dinner party or you don't feel like doing Like, I'll come and cook for you. Call on Sugar Pearl. Sure will. Hey, Kelvin. Sharon said, book them. Sharon, I'm telling you, she is amazing. I think we should have a pajama party. That would be so cool. We got to do something, girl. We can paint the town of Charlotte. We really could. And oh then come back. Gosh. Everybody bring their pajamas and sleeping bags. Mm. You need to put that on the road and visit me in Texas. She will. <laughs> she will. I promise you she will. We working on that. What? Yeah. Uh-uh. No, you didn't just cut me with your eye. Yes, she will. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. So today I was looking for a planner for you. A planner? For the business. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. You know I didn't get it yet. I know you didn't. So I was looking for one. I didn't find one that I thought that you would like. Am I going to turn down anything? No, no, no. But it has to be just right. It has to be okay. just right. So I am still in search. Yes. Yeah, that's what you do. You support your sisters. There are so many, and it's unfortunate, there are so many women out there who don't support. Mm -hmm. Or they get a little green or feeling like, oh, so you done made it. Or, you know, I experienced that. I don't know if I shared that with you. I experienced that. There were people that were very close to me. And once... Things happen and we're going with Viva's closet. There was things like, oh, well, you know, I might not be able to get in contact with you, you know, because you so, you so into that now. You so up to, you know, you so famous. And my feelings were really hurt because those are the people that you would expect yeah. to be right there for you and be in your corner and be like, hey, girl, I'm proud of you or whatever. Right. And sometimes when you're moving upward, your circle gets smaller. Mm -hmm. And then you have to move upward and add other people to your circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the key about moving Come on, is it's hard to move when you got a lot of weight. Come on now. To you. I done moved, let me tell you, I done been, a, I done had a lot of places I done lived, child. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. every time I move, like my little 
my, my little U-Haul gets smaller and smaller because I can't carry the same weight to the next place. You start minimizing. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And it is. Because then you know you have a circle. Those who are in your circle. Then you got some that's in your triangle. Mm. And then you got some that's in your square. Mm. Uh-huh. Ooh, child. Mm. Any of y'all experienced that? I'm just curious. I know one thing. I... One thing that hurt me a lot, like my parents have always owned businesses. You know, my mom been in hair for over 40 something That's years. That's true. But we also had, we had a grocery store. We had a clothing boutique. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. And I'll never forget. It was a man, um, when I was a kid, when we had the grocery store back in the day, back in Lynchburg. And some of y'all might know this story. And, and for some of y'all, y'all might have said it too. I don't know. I hope I ain't talking about you, but if the shoe fit. And who gonna stop? The guy and my dad, like he used to have like a supplier. Thomas and Howard used to come, a trucking company used to bring all the groceries and we had to stock full of everything. Mm-hmm. And it was a guy, he used to um, you know, like to go buy us beer and stuff like that in town. And, of course, you know, remember you had Tommy's Grill uptown, I right? I remember Tommy's Grill right. across the railroad track. So, the man walked past our store, went to Tommy's Grill, and when he got there, he asked one of his buddies to loan him a dollar so he could finish buying his beer. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. He said, well, man, you just passed grocery store um um from Isaac back there why you ain't stop there and get your beer it would have been less you know what his response was what do you say I'll be damned if that make that in rich wait a minute and he was another brother mm-hmm y'all we gotta change the mindset hey Stephanie yep Tanisha so, says she's almost at a dot. Yeah, your, your circle gets so small, it's like, boop. That's true. That's true. That's it. So, it I don't so have a lot sad. of faith in, like, I unfortunately, like, I've seen, like, my family hurt by people just like, right. nah, like, you you old bigoted, you know what, mm -hmm. I ain't about to make mm -hmm. you rich. How your little $2 gonna make me rich? It's not. So it was like that, and then my my parents have had to like, why don't you come back home and start your business? Mm 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 mm. Nope, cause I've I've seen them hurt mm -hmm. by that, and and I just know that I need and it's to hurtful. choose a different path. Because I know sometimes when, and I I always love and nothing against my other sisters and brothers who are not brown. Right. I support them as well. However. I love to support our people. Mm -hmm. And when I find some of our people that are doing what they're supposed to do, they're professional, um, I really support them and uplift them. The thing that's so frustrating is we just will not support our own. We would rather go and go and, and, and I'm, I have coach bags. Don't get me wrong. I got coach and <laughs> some of everything else. Mm -hmm. But we would rather go and make everybody else rich oh, yeah. and would refuse to put money in our own people. But that goes back to the workshop that we did, the DEIA the DEI workshop. The DEIA training. And I was telling some of the viewers earlier, mm -hmm. like, white supremacy is not All just around. about mm -hmm. white people having this idea. Mm -mm. Other races uphold white supremacy because... If you feel that the other's person, you know, their product is better mm -hmm. or, you know, the, there's a superiority factor mm -hmm. when it comes to um, non-black or brown culture, mm -hmm. that's supporting white supremacy. And that's true. Because it's still And we do it all the time. All the time. We are all guilty of it in some shape, form, or fashion. Oh, yeah. But we refuse to support our own. 
And that is so, it is, it, it took me a minute to get tough skin with that. Mm -hmm. Like even when I started Viva's Closet, someone told me, oh, that's how much you charge for your skirts? Well, I can go to the Chinese store and get it. Uh, it ain't gonna look like mine, uh, but you can go head on to the Chinese store and get it if that's what you want. The, the mindset until one of my business coaches told me, she said, you have to understand that everybody is not your client. Mm -hmm. And when you understand that everybody is not your client, you will be okay. But you always understand what your worth is. This meal right here would have been worth $50. I wish you would go out in the streets talking about, I'm going to do it for 10. It's going to be me and you. It's your worth. You put your love in it. You put your blood, sweat, and tears in it. You took your time to prepare it. You did it. I mean, and somebody going to disgrace you with $10? You better not call me. <laughs> she knew. I love the Lord. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but you better not but call I, me. I, I, I think that what's really hurtful is that sometimes it's our own that expect for you to devalue yourself. Yes. You, you know? ain't going to give me a break. Come on now. Right. Why don't you Where's give my sister hooker? a break? You ain't going right. to hook me up. When you go to Walmart, Walmart don't hook you up. And you don't ask for what? No. So you're willing to pay another person who is a different color the amount that they ask for. But you're not willing to pay us what we're worth. And the sad thing about this, if you go into Macy's or Dillard's or Nordstrom's or any of that, all of their items are marked 300% up. Sure. So you're willing to pay you that 300% off. Up. You think you gotta I got 20% off. No, you really ain't getting nothing off. But you're <laughs> willing to pay that instead of supporting your own. Wow. That's where we're messed up. That's what the mindset is. Tara said, great conversation. Tara, I'm sure you've experienced it. <laughs> and it's sad because we don't uplift one another. Yeah. We don't. But honey, when I tell y'all this right here, from Sugar Pearls, <laughs> good luck. I'm about to come out this show. <laughs> I done took off my shoes. Now I'm going to take off. Well, I'm but it's about to get damn real. Damn naked by the time <laughs> we sign off. <laughs> this is amazing. This was good. This was this was so good. Thank you. No, thank you for inviting me, girl. I you know. don't need an anyway. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> what? Oh my god! This, this was good. amazing. So always, you know. You know, last week y'all were like, oh gosh, I love the, you know, the talk and the conversation. This week, I hope you got the same and that you enjoyed the time mm -hmm. um, with me and my sister. Because Chris and Dillard is ridiculously <laughs> overrated. You right, Pearly? Yeah, really. They are. Um, but yeah, just. Um, uh oh, somebody did uh -oh, something real. Okay, we want to read that. Ooh, Wait a minute. Yeah. I want to see that then. Vanessa said, my mother has always told us growing up, it's important to understand your worth and never lower your standards. I must admit that some of us are not loyal and our integrity is at stake. Come on, Vanessa. I am speaking of black-owned businesses that don't value quality. Vanessa, you're absolutely right because there are some black-owned businesses out there that they... I wouldn't shop there. I'm going to go ahead and tell the truth now. There's some businesses I don't deal with. Because there's no integrity. There's wow. no integrity. But for those, but I refuse to turn my back on every black owned business because right. of the ones that I've had the experiences with. Right. You chop that up and say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to deal with that business again, but I know there's another business that's out there that I can support. Right. Everything that I've tried to do, I've tried to do it in black owned. You really and I'm not, I'm not racist. It ain't got nothing to do with that. No, I you have, really have Hispanic friends, white friends. And I ain't saying that, you know, like other people be like, I got one black friend. No, no, no. <laughs> I got plenty of them that I'll do anything for. And don't get me wrong. I support them, but I support my own because one of my girlfriends, and that's what I learned 
One of my girlfriends who's Hispanic, she has her own consignment shop. I'm going to take you there. Oh, please. And every month on Friday, she would invite me to her house and they would have like a girl's, a girl's oh, night. Nice. I was the only black girl there. Oh. Okay. So she's from Puerto Rico. Another one was from Peru. Another one was from Mexico. Another one was from Colombia. I knew nothing about their heritage. I'm sitting at the table and they're explaining, like, I didn't know. They had racism within their heritage. They had colorism, colorism going on within their heritage. Her grandfather was darker than me. Yep. And they were explaining what the differences were between, you know, um, being Puerto Rican and being Mexican and why they didn't like being called a certain thing. Right. So they explained all these things to me and I'm sitting looking around the table, but they're always there for each other. They're always there to support each other. Mm. Right? We, why are we the only race? Mm. Chinese come over here. They open up a Chinese restaurant. They invite Cousin Unfu oh, come back over here. All of them stay in the house together. They make their money. They go back to China. The next family come over and do the same thing. Vietnamese come over. They got a nail shop. They do everything they need to do in the nail shop. Then a little niece come over. They come over and they do another nail shop. Sure. What we do? Hispanic culture. They all come in and live together. Put their money together. Support each other. All of that. What do we do? And then we mad. Oh, everybody else getting jobs but us. No. Mm. No. Oh. Either we're going to dream or we're going to sit on it. That's Lindell, Sharon, Kip, Tamika. <laughs> Lindell say, speak on it. Vanessa said, that's correct. I agree. Charity yeah. begins at home. That's right, at Vanessa. Home. Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes you're not even welcome in your own home. You're not. You're not. When I tell y'all support Sugar Pearls, <laughs> this one right here. Let me tell y'all something. I'm so proud of you. I try to make sure my eyes don't sweat. Like, we ain't <laughs> proud on Facebook. But I am like big sister elephant Girl. proud of her. Y'all don't understand. Yeah. This is your love. This is what you love to yeah. do. And I'm just so blessed to be just a part of this. To be able to eat this and sit here and drink my pink Kool-Aid with you. <laughs> at your table. <laughs> So good. But Nita says it's time for a change. We must be the change we seek. That's true, Benita. We must. That's true. We must. That's why even some of our classmates, there were some people that wrote books. I was like, give me the information. I want to buy a book from you. Right. I just want to support. And if I miss one of y'all, let me know. Right. Um <laughs> I, I think I bought two. I need to get They weren't two. in my class, but they were They in weren't in classes. mine either. So I, I need to buy Chaz two of them. And somebody I have Chaz, yeah. but I need to buy LaShawn has a book out. LaShawn's book? LaShawn wrote a book. I don't know. And um, oh my God, please don't what's her name? Katisha I see your face. I, oh Katisha, I need Katisha to get Katisha's I got her. I didn't get her, so I need to get Katisha's book. Uh, uh. But somebody else wrote one. Um, Rochella Dow. Rochella, Rochella wrote a book. So yep. I need to get LaShawn's, Katisha, and Rochella. Yep. So I'm going to get their books. Yeah. Yeah. So if Katisha, if you watch this, please send me your information so I can get your book. I have LaShawn and um, Rochella. Okay. Now listen. My cousin Larry. Hey, Larry Isaac. God bless your bones. How you doing? <laughs> I ain't seen Larry since he graduated high school. How you doing, Larry? <laughs> Are you serious? That long? Wow. So I need to go ahead and invest in their books. That's what it's all about. We're supposed to support one another. And we have to change. We have to. Because ain't nobody else going to do it. Like, what happened when we had, um, what was it? We had Black Wall Street. Mm. And then what happened? Rochella McDowell. Thank you, Pearly. Yeah. Rochelle I need McDowell. to get her book. She's a McDowell. She married Leotis McDowell. Okay, so she was mm -hmm. a Dow. She was a Dow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pearly. I need to get her book, too. Yeah. I'm going to have to get one, like, every pay period, y'all, because, you know, we work yeah, for nonprofit. And yeah. let me tell you. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Mm-hmm. 
Girl, yeah. we ain't pray over the food. I prayed when you was over there talking. Thank you, Jesus. I said, Lord, bless all the food. Benita said, I have always admired Carla, even as a little girl. I remember watching you as a cheerleader. I'm so proud of you. We have great things coming out of Lee County. We do. See, Benita. I told you. You're so sweet. Child, I'm, I'm just a dirty old dust rag child trying to do the Lord's work. Well, y'all tell... I sound 68 years old You did. Now. You did. <laughs> Well, y'all tell Carla Brene how awesome she oh, is. God. No, please don't. Please no, don't, don't do you that. need to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Well, tell me. Carla Brene how but, awesome she you know, is. For you real, need for to real. Know. You need to know. When you think of the lawyers and the doctors and the teachers and professors and tr all these people we got coming out of Lee County, girl. I know. We got some amazing people. Hey, what let us? What, did I say that right? Well, Lisa, yeah. How you doing? That's why I understand why that school district is such disarray, honey. Listen, but you know what I did? What I do love about Mount Pleasant High School? What? I graduated with honors and I had to go to college and had to take remedial classes. I don't understand that, but at the same, I mean, we ain't gonna talk about that part. But at the same time, um, we had some people that still cared about us and oh, they poured gosh, into yes. us. A lot of our kids don't have that now. Yeah. Other than us, you know. Yeah. And, and what and, we and do. Folks like and us. folks like us. Um, but yeah, it's hard. We had some great mentors, some great teachers. We really did. That poured into us and kind of they prepared were hard. us. They were hard. Ooh, tough as nails. Oh honey. God, I still remember this one. No game. I was so glad. I think Miss Swing was she... borderline abusive. Now that I think about borderline. it, borderline. I got cussed out and whooped. You were abused. What the what the rubber from the tire? You don't know how I prayed that she would retire before I got to my pleasure. So and God heard me. She, she retired. Me. But that's all right. So I don't think she was beating too many people. If Pearl is still on this line, Pearl is still on. <laughs> please don't still be mad at me from them years ago. <laughs> so what had happened was mm -mm. I hid this Swinton little rubber. I told that see. Nobody believed me. I hid it. I would tell the people. I took it. She wasn't when, gonna beat me no we, more. Cause we used to get beatings for misconjugating the verb. Paula Barno. And they didn't beat us with no paddles, y'all. Mm -hmm. They got the fan bell off an old tractor that was this big around. Thick. Hold your hand and up. Long. And you got beat. And if it was the 31st day, you got 31 days. And got cussed out while you got beat. I I been so many buzzards and jack behinds. <laughs> and <laughs> Sharon said we were prepared for life when we graduated. Yeah, we were. I but know I that's said, right. Sharon, you're right. I was prepared for life, but I still had to take remedial math and remedial reading. That's all right. We ain't never shot up no school. That part. Benita said, yes, we had love and passion. It was true community support. Mr. Sinclair beat They balanced it out. Of math. I got a beating for Mr. Sinclair. A beating. I cheated on my math test. I he think Sinclair beat me every day. He come into the office, bend over for with me. the paddle. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, we gonna have to end this little party. It is coming to yes, I feel both. abused. <laughs> I feel so abused right now that I think about my childhood. Oh my gosh. Was I that bad? You weren't bad at all. They just had a lot to deal with. <laughs> St. Clair, he... But did she laugh at Lisa, I am loving what you're doing with your testimony. Mm. Like, oh my God, you are just amazing and absolutely beautiful. I just, I'm so glad I'm alive to tell up, you that. Honey. Keep it up. Please keep it up. Yes. You are absolutely amazing. Shannon said, me too. Had to learn everything. <laughs> <I was working. laughs> me too. <laughs> we came out there knowing life. We might have been a little dumb, but we knew life. <laughs> I know one thing. I learned how to fry chicken. <laughs> Look what Perla said. <laughs> I ain't gonna repeat it. I'm just gonna sit my Never. my pink lemonade. Y'all, this <laughs> has been.
probably the best Friday night I've had. This was fun. With anyone. Like. <laughs> Oh, dang, that's amazing. Amazing. for the do the apple turnovers. Oh, shoot, the apple turnovers. Hold up. Oh, Lord. We gonna do some apple oh, turnovers, y'all. No, they ain't done. Oh, they ain't done. We ain't oh, gonna Lord, look. I ain't even turn the thing on. Y'all, the conversation was so good, she ain't even turn it Girl, on. I didn't even <laughs> Tara said, look at us today. Tara, you're absolutely right. It, it really molded us. It did. It did. It really did. Lisa, I, I'm waiting for your book. Okay, now I ain't supposed to be on here getting ready. What? Lisa, I am so ready for your book. Like, your book is going to be an amazing testimony. I think I told you that before. An amazing testimony. Yeah, too. Once Viva says it, it's going to happen. I mean, look at me. I'm doing uh, my second live. Tara and Pearly got books in them, too. Uh-oh. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Don't be side-eyeing me further. Here you go. I'm just saying. Hurry up so I can buy them and read them. Well, y'all. Oh, we can I'm, do book reviews. I don't like to read. I mean, I can read. I'm a very good reader. She's an amazing reader. I just, I don't like. You know what we can do? I don't take the time to like, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read this book. We can get the kids and read them to us. Or mm -hmm. we can get audio books. Ain't no real issue, Lee. I don't care. You call me by my middle name. You better get the right. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me she called me by my middle name. It was going to change. Right. It ain't changing, Pearly. And you know you've been sitting on it for years. Ooh. Ain't Ooh. no need to be sitting on it no more. Ooh. You holding up people. You need to go on and write that book so you can free other women. Your testimony is needed. I think she just... Lisa's time I keep waiting ain't writing no book. Okay, Lisa, you, you watch and see. I promise you, you will. Uh-oh. Well, girl, get that book made. I don't know why y'all holding up people. Girl, I can't believe hey, that I ain't turned them apple turnovers on. <laughs> they sitting in the oven sweating. What we been talking about? We been talking about DEIA supporting black folk. I turned them on just now. Y'all get a picture. Thank you. Look here. Who that? Bonita said yes. Pearly got several books and CDs in her. Oh. Seat. Where two or three are gathered. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I told you. Hey, Joanne Adams. That's my cousin, Doris. That's my mama niece. Oh. That's your mama niece? Mm hmm. Doris. And Benita said, Tell her. <laughs> Y'all so shady. They, girl, that's the truth. They holding yeah. up people. Pearly, don't get quiet. Now she quiet. Y'all can hear rat piss on cotton. She ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God! Girl, well, they say that. Is it? <laughs> I think we gonna watch y'all just have a cat fight. We yeah, you see they going back and forth. Go Benita ahead, y'all. Have it out. Go ahead. But you see that, Pearly, Benita is supporting you and pushing you to be... Oh! <laughs> Now that's love right there. Wow. That's love right there when we helpful. I know, right? <laughs> it's so good to be a helpful. It is. Lisa I said her hand is still hurting from the past. So, Lisa, you don't even have to use your hand. You know, they have these... Um, you just record. Huh? They have recorders. You can use a recorder. And it'll Lisa. type out what you say. Yes. It will type up what you say, and you don't have to worry about using your hand yeah. to hurt your hand, honey. If you respond to this live, then you can do a book. Yes. Lisa's mm -hmm. gonna do a book. I don't know what she I don't know why she's stalling. Honey, your story needs to be heard. Well. It does. Girl, I read her testimony. Have you read her testimony? No, child. Honey. Girl, it'll bless your bones. I'm thinking about them turnovers sitting in there sweating that I forgot to turn on. 
I'm mad about that day. That shows that you're human. That's why you ain't going to be on the cooking channel. You're going to own the cooking channel. Because I'm going to forget to cook the folks' food. Mm -hmm. You gonna own the cooking channel? That's what. How, is. how did I do that? And, and the conversation got so good. That was just that purple Kool Aid. That that grape flavor right there. Well, <laughs> folks. Yeah, it's been real. It has and they're so, so sweet. Real. They stayed on all this long time. I know. They love you, Carla. Mm. Oh, they just. This lonely. is amazing. Are oh, y'all just real lonely on a Friday night? <laughs> <laughs> y'all better get your oh, ass. Lisa, Lisa, now Lisa didn't tell us the <laughs> <laughs> Honey, we just putting it out there. Hold up before we go. Sharon Laurie Brown. Where's Sharon at? What's she on here? She on here somewhere. Okay. Sharon, I am waiting on your book. And you know you got about four of them in your belly. I don't know why you holding up. And you know Sharon got a ministry. Straight up ministry. I don't know why she's... Sharon, don't play. How do you Please do don't this? play Sharon, Laurie. Brown. Don't play. I'll wait. You and Lord got like a special text message code. <laughs> Did you say a special text message code? How do you know these things? I'm waiting, Sharon Lord Brown. Listen. Ooh. No, ain't no listen. I'm waiting. Matter of fact, two of them should have already been done. What's the hold up? Oh. It's coming. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. There you go. Mm -hmm. When it gonna come? Oh, gosh. It's coming. Y'all, we got to go. <laughs> we got to watch these apple turnovers cook. Good night, Bonita. Oh, I love you, boo. God bless, God bless you, you, Bonita. Girl, we're going to have to do this again soon. Now, oh, now I'm going to tell y'all ahead of time. So this Friday coming, you know, that's Ty and Moe's celebration. Oh, so yeah, I won't be doing Friday celebrate. Live. Right. So I'm going to probably do the live. And it might not be a cooking segment. It might just be like, child, some stuff that just happened. Mm -hmm. And there's some stuff in the works. So I don't know. It might be an announcement. Don't give me that side eye. It Go might ahead. be. <laughs> she ain't give me side eye. But, mm -hmm. um... So I might talk to y'all on Thursday because Friday, Friday I'm actually going out with you. We're going to, to support celebrate some coworkers. Right, some coworkers of ours are getting married, not yep. to each other, but to other they're getting married to other right. people. So we go in there and hang out with them and, and make them feel yeah like family. Yeah, they are. They're yes, family. that's what we do. We we uplift. Come on, come on. Uh. Oh, we'll be back. Yeah, y'all, <laughs> y'all. Thank you. So Love y'all. Thank you for having me. Thank you. This was amazing, and the food.